Hi guys! Good evening, good evening. Nandito na naman po tayo. Nandito kong mag-live. Narilip niyo ako. Wala na. Namiss kong mag-live guys. So wait. Yes. Ayan. Sinili ko lang kung push na ang nakikita niyo. Good evening, loves, gloves, mga uh, beshies. Well, good morning sa mga taga-US uh, na nanonood at manonood. And uh, good evening sa mga nasa Pinas na mga followers. Charot. Anyways. Wala, ano, gusto ko lang mag, uh, naisip ko kasi mag-live. Actually, isip ko siya na gawin for, for my next clients of vlog. But then, ano, may time ako today. So, naisip ko mag-live stream na lang. Namiss ko kasi mag-live stream. So, ang reason, di ba, last live stream ko kasi, um, ang sabi ko, mag-iisip ako ng topic kung ano yung uh, pag-uusapan natin pag nag-live stream ako ulit. Kung mag- uh, direct topic na parang meron talagang pag-uusapan, ba diba? So, today, naisip ko, kasi ang dami kong, actually, uh, may nagme-message sa akin, so, nagtatang sa akin, uh, pag eto ba itong type ba ng tao yung kachat mo, to ba siya, fraud ba siya, scam ba siya, whatsoever. So, parang ako, Parang, hala, 2029, hindi pa rin ba kayo, hindi pa rin ba kayo updated or hindi pa rin ba kayo aware na ang daming scam. So, naisip ko, uh, mag-live or gumawa ng content about uh, how can you prevent being catfished? How can you prevent talking to a scammer or talking to a fraud person? Especially, ang dami, ang dami, ang galing nila, ang galing nila, grabe. There's, There's a lot of people, guys or girls, doing fraud stuff over the internet. Or, alam mo yun, they're using those dating apps to make money or to get money to other people. Or, you know, those people who's war, uh, bad? those people who are, who are vulnerable and looking for love, yung mga hopeless romantic na nasa dating app or dating site. So, they trying to find love. They try to find uh, true love or believe in love. Then suddenly, makakachat nila. Suddenly, the person, they started talking or, you know, used those sweet words and whatsoever. It's a fraud pala. You know, you know what I mean? And, I have like few inquiries or few questions from my friends or even former classmates. Those people that I don't really talk to them a lot or even alam mo yun, years. Maga friends ko lang sila through uh, social media and then they're gonna go ahead and approach. Hindi ko ang kung bakit. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, because I met my husband dating app. So, for those people who know me, uh, they know that I met my husband through, uh, what do you call this? Through, no, wala ako. Through dating app. So, ayun. Kaya, ako yung, siguro ako yung tanong nila na, oh, is this a fraud or whatever? You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So anyways, so I'm just here to give tips on not being, like, you guys not being catfish or how you consider if it's a catfish or not, okay? It's just simple. But, by the way, uh, for those who doesn't know me yet or for those who's watching or who will watch this live, live stream, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the like button if you like my content right now if you like what i'm talking about and click the subscribe button or more like you know if you love my content and if you wanted to follow me and subscribe me so you're 
just like the subscribe. I don't know. Subscribe, subscribe button. So, whichever or it is. Anyways. Yeah. So, my name is Margaret. For those who doesn't know me, my name is Margaret. And this is my channel. Anyways. Para anyway. So, yun. So, I'm here to talk about how to see or you guys being cautious or not being catfish. Kasi ang dami, ang dami nang naniniwala, ang dami nang na-catfish uh, through chat, okay? I guess in email, so al- lalo na ngayon pandemic, hindi ka makalabas to go on a date or to meet this person para malaman mo if this is real. And also, I don't know, kasi I, I, I don't want to offend people, pero yun, so, for people who want to find true love with different, you know, different area, different country, or different nationality, so, they love using dating site, dating app. So, and use it. Pero, not all people are aware, or not a lot of people is aware, or are aware, na merong you know, mga fraud or scammers doon. So, wait lang. Yeah, it's fixed ko lang to. Wait lang and then not. Yes. I uh, anyway. There. Tingnan <laughs> natin kung may iso connection. Anyways, yan. Yeah, live. Inopen ko yung Instagram. I, Instagram live ko. Anyway, so yeah. We're gonna go ahead and talk about ano ka makakaiwas for being catfish. Or tips that you might, you know, it might help you for you not to be catfish in your future dates or in your future, you know, future chatmates or love life. You know what I mean? So... Number one, okay, it's no, no. It's okay. okay, here's the thing. It's okay, guys, to go or use dating app or dating site. Okay, it's okay for you guys to use that para lang to meet somebody and ang tawag dito? to find love. It's okay for you guys to use that. But there are certain things that it's a no-no and it will raise a red flag for you guys. Para masabi mo, oh, this is fraud, this is a waste of time, this is, uh, this will just, you know, scam me or whatever. This is not real. Because yeah. sometimes we feel that it's a no-no, we feel that there's a red flag, but because this person know how to use sweet words, we tend to still hold on to it. You know what I mean? Like, Uy, kinikilig ako. He, he always makes me smile. But uh, I don't know if it's real kasi I haven't seen his face or whatever. So there's a feeling, there's a gut feeling that's fake. But then since this, he loves or he's good at using sweet words, you still hold on to it. Like, you still think that it's real. But there's a gut feeling that there's a gut feeling that it's not real. So number one that will raise your red flag is you've been talking to him or her for a few days or a week, but you haven't seen his real face. Okay? Yeah, you uh during your first day of chatting or first hour, we're gonna ask you a picture. Well, that's okay to send him a picture of yours and a girl or guys, make sure that you ask pictures of her as well. You know what I mean? So nowadays, people who knows editing stuff, 
they're good at it. Those scammers, those people who loves doing your you know doing fraud, they're good at it sending a like real photos or alam mo yun, the photos that they're gonna send you looks real, like a hundred percent real. You're not gonna even think uh for the first photo that they're gonna send you that it's fake. Okay. So if one week na, if you've been talking to him or her for one week, worse is one month, then you haven't seen her face really through video chat. That's a first red flag, guys. Okay. First red flag. If you're talking to a person uh through uh thing app or any any social media, even you met him through Facebook, through Instagram, because People could go ahead and look for you through Instagram and uh, what do you call this? Instagram and Facebook. Because the bad there is like, what do you call this? Suggest people, or they're just gonna go ahead and search using first name. You know what I mean? So if you haven't seen them through video chat, it's a red flag, okay? And if you ask them, like, can we do video chat? Can we do, uh, WhatsApp video call or whatever type of like texting messages that you use. If they don't agree doing a video call with you guys, uh, it means it's a fraud, okay? Okay, or don't agree if they're gonna tell you like I can't go ahead and I go ahead and do video calls. First, one example is they what do you call this? Okay, I heard a lot of stories in here because uh, with this type of scenario. So I have a friend who messaged me because she has a friend who's talking to a military guy. Funny is, my husband is from the military, so few people tend to go with me and ask me questions like, hey, how how can you make sure that this guy is not a fraud? Because he's I've been talking to him for two weeks and he started to talk about marriage or about me being his future wife. So, fraud, sinabi nila, or you're being catfish if they tell you that I can't make phone calls because I uh, I, I was deployed, I am deployed to a war zone, and I can't make phone calls because it's not allowed. Uh, yun palang red flag na, guys. Kasi, first is, pwede silang mawag. Pwede silang tumawag through video call, okay? Any type of... Hindi, hindi ba kayo nakapanood ng mga war movies na o yung tawag sila sa mga asawa nila at sa mga, alam mo yung family nila to make sure that they're alive? Hindi na yan, dear John, na sulat-sulat na lang, guys. So, pag hindi sila pumayag, pag hindi sila pumayag na, anong tawag dito? Na may pag-video sa inyo kasi sinabi nila na nasa army sila and uh, it's not allowed. Guys, ano ba? 2020 na. Huwag kayong maniwala na, na pag sinabi tayo nung chat mo na don't trust me, uh, my future wife, my future husband. Huwag naman madala agad na ganun. Napapa, napapalata ang mga po. Mga best. Anyways, yun. It's a red flag. Don't fall for that trap. You're being catfish. Yun pa lang, catfish na kayo. <laughs> yun, pa, yun pa lang, nararamdaman na nila na ay daling maututong tao ito. Parang ganun. Okay. Second is, so first is yung ayaw nilang pumayag for video call. Para, alam yun, may, hindi mo sila ma-make sure na they're not real. Second thing that you're being catfish is two weeks pa lang, guys. Okay, ito yun, tataka ka na, ay, ang bilis naman. Oo, ay, ang bilis naman niya magpapadala ng pera. Guys, walang napapadala. <laughs> Nakakatawa kasi, I have these two people, I, I've been asked by two people na hindi ko naman talaga close. They just wanted to make sure this is real. And it's the same thing, the guy, both guys that they've been talking is in the army. So, they asked, they asked me like, is this real because uh, we've been talking for two weeks and now he's wanting to send me money. And it's not just 500 pesos, guys. We're not talking about five, 
five dollars or five hundred pesos. They're talking about this person is sending her thousand dollars. Okay, so parang ayo, sure. Papakatanga ka pa ba na, oh my God, padadala niya ako ng pera. Siyempre, pera yan. At sino ba naman mag, sino ba naman tatanggi pag pera yan? Then, guys, it's a budol. It's that fish, okay? Don't, like, don't, don't fall for money, okay? Don't fall for money. If you're talking to a person that you haven't, you know, you haven't talked to him or her for months, Tapos, they're talking about sending you money ready. Uh, talking about you being their future husband or wife. It's budol, guys. It's catfish. Bakit ba? 2020 na, guys. Dago padala pa rin tayo sa ganun. So, it's, it's a sign of you being catfish. Kasi, if you receive that money, ang mangyayari, ikaw pa yung magbabayad or something. So, sila yung makakapera. And another thing for being catfish is... If they ask you to pay something, paano makaawon? <laughs> Hindi ito yung hashtag paano makaawon sa hirap. Ito yung hashtag paano makaiwas sa bull, guys. Kasi I've been nakakawa kasi uh, I have people na who's messaging me and asking me na if this is a fraud or if this re- if this is a real person. And guys, 2020 na, ba tayo napapabudol pa? Parang gano'n, parang haven't heard news. Ito ha, a tip for people who being catfish or yung mga news na tama, hashtag wag marupok, pag pera ang usapan, wag nagiging marupok agad, guys. Ano na pag sinabi mo, ay, sorry for those people na uh, I might get offended by this, okay? So, Alam mo yung pag afam kasi or follow yung kalex or kachat mo and then they're gonna go ahead and be sweet with you and talk about money that they're gonna go ahead and send you money. Nagiging mo po ka agad. Okay? Alam mo yun, parang, uy guys, dito pera-pera lang. <laughs> eh, meron kasi sa likod nun is there are people who's real and there are people that they're trying to you know, it make or get scam. Okay? So, another thing, other thing, if you're being catfish, if they ask you, here's here's what they do. They're gonna be sweet to you, okay? They're gonna talk about your, within two weeks, within the span of two weeks, they're gonna go ahead and go to your heart directly, okay? They're gonna be sweet, call you baby. Guys, hindi nyo alam, marami na is, parang sampung babae kayo chat niya today and calling you baby. Okay, pamadala sa baby. Sa baby love, future wife, and whatsoever na kung ano pa yung, ano pa yung sweet talking na ginawa nila. Kasi, guys, sa ibang basa, normal ang pag ginawa nilang baby, sweetheart, loves. Ano ba? Hindi, di ba? Huwag kayong pamadala sa ganun. Huwag kayong papatawag ng be. Be, mahal kita. Ganun. Wag na 2020 na man din ang manloloko. Hindi ka pa ba pagmaloko si ako pagod na. Anyways, yun yun. So so in the span of 2 weeks, ganun yung gagawin nila. They call you babe, love, and then sweetheart. Kahit ano pang my love, something like that. My future, meron pa kami nagay, my future wife, hello, or my future husband. Da. Tapos, after that, na sweet na kayo, tapos ikaw naman, re-respond na sa kanila na, yes, I'm excited to be your your wife, or I'm excited to be your husband, you're gonna be my whole world, whatever. Eh, ganun na, pag ganun na yung mga respond nyo sa kanya, andyan na yung, uh, Ayan na yung eksena na sasabihin. Can you pay, can you pay this before, uh, before ako dumating dyan sa inyo? Can you pay first my, my hotel room or my Airbnb? Because my card is not working. I, guys, trust you, or mind you, ay ganong eksena. I have, I have a friend who had that experience na uh, a guy asked, him or a guy asked her to pay a certain a certain activity for him because this person or this appa 
this afam is going to Boracay. So he need a scuba, what do you call this? He need a scuba stuff to be rented out kasi mag scuba daw siya sa Boracay. So it's a 7,000 pesos. So it's a hundred, hundred something dollars uh, activity in Boracay. So he asked that person to pay it for him prior it's few days before his arrival to the philippines so ito, it really happened to a friend of mine so my friend is my friend of mine is being marupok so we're gonna use the a friend of mine is being marupok so and this guy is talking about bringing her to america whatsoever so the hell vulnerable siya marupok siya marupok si ate mo Binayaran niya yung 7,000 guys. Just <laughs> cool. Binayaran niya yung 7,000. And you know what happened? She got scammed. So, when she paid it, the guy is still talking to her two, for two days. After two days. So, after two days, parating ni guy sa Pilipinas. Pagdating sa Pilipinas, wala. And guess what? Uh, dito? So guess what? The name of the person, uh, I still remember the last name because it's common last name in the United States. His last name was Smith. Guys, million million po ang Smith. <laughs> I'm not really sure about the numbers of how many Smith that has in the Philippines or in the US, but guys, Smith is a common name. So whether you Google him or not, it is a common name. It's easy to use. I guess John Smith. I don't know. But the last name was Smith. So if it's about money, if there's money involved in your conversation as early as two weeks, guys thinks about think about it. Okay. It's total scam. It's a total fraud. Saka, hello, ako for a year, I've been talking to, a, well, I mean, I, do, ho, I did talk to a lot of guys. I did date some guys for a year before I met my husband. But if it's about money that we're talking, oh, extra. Sorry, next. Get on. So if, if it's about money, it's a no-no. If the guy doesn't want to talk to you through the Joe chat, it's a no-no. Move next. and daming lalaki. Just huwag maging malapok. And... Third thing, third thing about being scam, if they're trying to send you something, like a package after two weeks that you're talking, guys, it's another scam. Have you heard, okay, there's a lot of things circulating in the social media or even Google. If you go ahead and search that, I'm going to give you a tip right now. Thank you, next. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to give you a tip, okay? If they're trying to send you box, I'm going to give you a tip after this one, okay? If they're trying to send you a package after three or two weeks that you guys are talking, ay, guys, nga nga kayo, kasi pag tinanggap nyo yan, mabayad kayo. And that money that you're going to pay for that box, they can go ahead and give it to that person. It's a joke, joke. Tapos pag sinabi nila, ganito pa yan, ganito pa yung eksena. Ito pa yung tena na sasabihin nila. I'm sending you a box, my love. Is uh, I wanted to spoil you. Uy, guys, huwag kayo pa na pag sinabi nila ang gusto ka nilang ispoil. Diyos ko, bakit hindi mo maspoil yung sarili mo? Hindi ka makabili ng something for yourself. Huwag ganon. So, magbabayad ka kasi doon pag nalayo, pag, bini- pag kinuha mo yun. Actually, bago mo kukuhin yun, sasabihin nila yun sa'yo na, but I'm I'm sending you a box because I wanted to make you special. I wanted to spoil with you. And it's, uh, that box has money. Ay, hindi maroon mag-bank transfer, guys. <laughs> so, hindi maroon ng transfer. Hindi pwedeng, ano, ganun ang sabihin nila sa inyo kasi they wanted, they wanted to buy a house once they get, the, uh, once they get there in the Philippines. They wanted to buy you a house, a car, blah, auto pa din. Anyways, totoo yun guys, hindi, hindi joke joke kasi this is not my experience but these are experience of some people that I know. 
Because they asked me about it if this is real. And hindi sa napapagod ako. I, I'm not tired of uh, giving information to my friends. It says I wanted everybody to be aware of it. Okay? Kasi ang dami nang nagdada. Ang dami, ang dami naluloko. Wag maging mapok pag pera usapan pag tinawag ka ng sweetheart and my future wife, my future husband. Okay? Yun mo yung ayaw ko kasi namin nagpapauto. Guys, 2020 na, pauto pa din tayo. <laughs> Nakakasar. Anyways, so, those are the things, top three things na malalaman mo that you're being catfish, okay? If they don't want it to, they, want it, they don't want to have a video call with you seeing their faces, skin, if there's money involved in your conversation, that they're asking you a 7,000 or some amount of money to pay for them, and they're gonna send you a box that has money inside, okay? Those are the common things that they use for those catfish people. If you're if you're watching 90 Day Fiance, there are some people that got catfished as well. There, there are some Americans that has been catfished. Worth pa, five years na silang nag-uusap ng girl. The only, the only thing that the girl is doing for that American guy is sending him a picture of her or you know, recorded videos. Eh, Diyos ko, hindi lang siya nag-iisang pinag-sendan no? Dami nilang nasendan ni ate girl ng picture. Sexy picture tsaka like sweet videos saying, I love you, babe. I can't wait to see you. Huwag nang papadala na gano'n, guys. Unless, pera-pera lang talaga ang gusto mo. Di ba? If you're not looking for a true love or a right relationship, eh, push ka, pascam ka. <laughs> or, or else, you can use that. I- I'm not here to talk about how to be a real scammer or whatever. But I'm here to talk about people to be aware of when you are being catfish or not. Okay. Another so tip for uh parang things that you can do or to do para malaman mo if you're being catfish or anong tawag ito. So how can you avoid being catfish after those three things na mafeel mo na you're being catfish? So first is their number. Okay. So this person nakakachat mo. They wanted to talk to you through WhatsApp or whatever, like whatever texting app that they're using. Okay? So, get that number and Google it. Get the area code and Google it. Okay? You can Google it. Uh, use uh, Check the, like, how you're gonna Google it. So, ano ba? Wait. Okay, so, yeah, you Google the area code, checking if, which country is that, okay? Like, ano, the plus one is US, plus six three is the Philippines. So, lalas yun sa Google. So, if nabi nila na, so first thing yun yung gagawin mo pag binigay yung phone number, Google mo kayo yung number. If sinabi nila na I'm from the US, then why your number is somewhere sa other side ng mundo, di ba? And then, then, I go ahead and start doing, anong tawag dito? I'm gonna start telling you na, ah, kasi, cause I'm deployed and whatsoever. So, of course, scapegoat. And next is, what do you call this? Paano mo, paano, paano ka makakaiwas for being cat? Okay. Right now, most Nigerian people are doing it, okay? If you're gonna Google, uh, if you're going to Google articles about Nigerian people or Nigerian scammer, they use that type of thing. Na, uh, gonna send you fake photos of guys. And telling you that I am being deployed, I'm in the army. Uh, if you read all those articles, they're just using same sequence or they're just using same 
story. So, go ahead and read those articles about the Nigerian scammer. Because most most scammer na na kwento sa akin friend ng mga friend ko is they have the same uh same story. They have the same flow. Na oh, two weeks pa lang kami nag-uusap, then he he's trying to send me money or he's trying to send me a package. So, same story. And another thing is, uh, kasi mostly ginagamit nila for catfish is, anong tawag ito? In the military. So, if they tell you that they're in the military, go ahead and Google. So, go ahead and Google fake and real ID of military people. Okay? Kasi nakakatuwa. Kasi I have this uh, person who messaged me. She asked me if this is real. Kasi the guy is telling her that he's in the military. Luckily, my husband has my husband's rank is the same rank that uh, my that my friend is telling me about the guy that she's talking red. So, parao sila ng rango. So, I did compare my husband's ID and the guy's ID and I chose it. Actually, kahit uh, hindi ko pa nakikita yung uh, ID ng husband ko is obvious na fake na. Because of the American flag, the American flag of that guy has like cross, like basta may cross something in the American flag, which the uh, hindi nila gago niya. They work for the government. Bakit mo lage ng cross? It's it's some it's a design. So and the fonts in that ID is different. Sa who yung picture niya? Facebook picture dun sa ID. <laughs> Their ID, the army ID, are uh, always in uniform. They're always in uniform. So, and another thing, wait, lang. Uh, Tignan na, hanapin natin yung girl. Another thing is my husband told me that if a guy told you that he's in the military and he was deployed, somewhere in middle middle east that's why they can do a video chat on with you uh ito yung hihingin mo okay wait lang natin natin okay so my husband told me to tell to that uh that person because she's my former, uh, she's my schoolmate back in college. So, because she asked me about if the person that she's talking with is, is real. So, the guy was telling her that he's deployed in Middle East. So, my husband told me, ask your friend to ask that guy to show his ERB. It's ERB, Echo, Echo Rumble Bravo. So, that's, you have, if, that person that you're talking right now, ladies and gentlemen, is telling that they're in the Middle East, they're being deployed, or they're just deployed somewhere that they can't use a video call because they're not allowed. Might as well ask them for ERB, okay? Ask them for ERB. ERB. So it means ERB is a, a document that they're saying that they're deployed somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. It's, uh somewhere over like anywhere on the world so it's proof that he's real okay again but then that year i guess it can be fake still so mind as well be careful about being catfish because 2020 nag 2020 nag so love my future wife alam yun so it's a battle of being intelligent Diba? It's a battle of being you guys intelligent against those people that you're talking to. Especially, you don't know them and then try to send you money. They try to ask you to pay something for them. And what else? Well, those are the scenarios or those are some things that you guys are being catfish. 
are those are the same routine that they're using against those people who's vulnerable and they can make you look like a fool. Okay? Nakakahiya naman, guys. And it, pina, parang, ano yun? We're just giving them a proof na this certain country is easy to, you know, this certain country is easy to get girls like, I don't know, paano ko ba explain ng I don't harm anybody or get offended. But then, yun, parang pinabalabas nyo na ang base natin maloko. Kasi mostly, ito ha, mostly na nakaka-catfish nila is Filipinos and Filipinos and Americans, I believe. But, well, sa America din, there are people na nakaka-catfish ng Nigerian. I'm not saying it's just Nigerian, okay? But, those same like some of my friends two of my friends are being cat it was being cat by same same scheme and then i have another friend of that seven thousand so those are the things that i wanted you to, to learn and realize for you guys not to be catfish in the future okay it's okay for you to talk to talk to other people or to talk to guys through dating app, okay? I found my husband through dating app. So, and I'm happy about it. And hindi, hindi ko siya nakahiya, okay? Because I did it right. I was not being, I was not being catfish, okay? I never catfished by somebody. Because I was aware of, like, you know, catfish scheme or scammers. I was aware of that. So, if the person doesn't want to show their face through website or through video cam or video chat, then it's a no-no. Again, thank you, next. There's a lot of guys that fishes in the sea, sabi nga nila. So, yeah. So, I guess, uh, hopefully, this, this life that I did will help you in the will help you guys in the future because i don't want to hear another story of a person or a girl that has been catfish or you know scammed by a person through chat na, oh he asked me to pay five thousand pesos uh because he's gonna visit me and his credit card is not here and another thing that they're gonna tell you don't worry baby i'm gonna pay you uh more more than what you pay when i got when i when I visit you, lo, sigurado ka may tamo. Alam mo yun. It's just, I wanted you guys to be aware of it. I wanted you to take care of your money as well. And not to show them na, alam mo yun, mabili yung pumagat. If, it about, if it's about money na. Kasi sa panahon ngayon, mahirap kain ng pera. And sa panahon ngayon, mahirap i-earn ang trust. So, I want you guys to be catfish or be scammed by other people. Kasi, alam mo yun, it's not easy to be scammed. I don't know how those scam... I don't know about those scam or how can they sleep. I really don't know. Well, anyways... I'm done. <laughs> I tackle all the things that I was able to share with you, all the things that I wanted to share for you guys not to be catfish and for you to be aware of being catfish. If you're being catfish right now, if you have that same story or same scenario right now, get out of there. Okay? You, you, whoever you're watching, get out of there. X the guy next. Maraming malaki to them. And you deserve someone better. You deserve someone uh, who's not asking money as early as like two weeks of you guys talking. Okay? So, one thing that I can advise you, if you really wanted to, you know, you wanted to find true love, through dating app, or social media, whatsoever, pray always pray that you find somebody and be real okay be real that's one that i can advise you okay if 
Kasi there are people who who paid guys. I have I I know somebody who's not really like she's not wealthy. But then because this guy promised to pay her and this guy show her some affection. Ay, binayaran niya yun. Binayaran niya muna sabi ni kuya, darating na siya sa Pinas within a couple of days. So, ayun. Bye-bye. Bye-bye dun sa money. And she could have been used that money for food or friend and whatsoever. So, wapapadala pag pera usapan. Huwag pinapakita na marutay. Guys, hindi aahon pag nagpapiloko ka. <laughs> if gusto mo umahon, wag ka magpaloko. Because these guys, like, if you really wanted to marry a, uh, if you really wanted to marry uh, other nationality, this, uh, those person or some people are, they love seeing women who's independent. Okay? So, and who's not really, you know, who's not really, I don't tell you. They love seeing women who are strong, strong and independent. So, we are type of, us Filipina are type of people who are strong and independent. So, we have to show them how strong and independent we are. Wag tandaling magpaloko, guys. Because it's not, it's not. It, it, this is a stigma that we have to stop. If it's about money, stop, okay? I, I am... Like, I feel sorry for those women that has been catfish or, you know, has been stabbed. Kasi hindi mo alam kung parang sa mo yung box, anong laman ng box, malay mo ba kung bomba ba yun. Tagi ka, nagka-pira sila. There are women na uh, pinadalhan and they have to pay like, oy, worth, they have to pay 30,000. Hindi ba? Gusto mo yun? Ako ayoko na. Wala ako nun. So, yung iba nangutang pa para lang makuha yung box and hindi mo lang laman, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, anyways, I hope you learned something from my live stream today. And I hope no one <laughs> lesson yung mga, malilesen yung numbers of people or girls that can catfish right now. Diba? Learn from others. Diba? If you really want to do, you know, try dating app or social media to find your true love, research, research din. Maga- ano yun? Toto yun, guys. You have to research like, what type of guys are who li- Like, what type of guys or what type of, like, attitude they have. Because cultural differences. You you wanted to meet other uh, guys from other other countries, so you wanted to try because ayaw mo na sa kalahim or whatsoever. Try to, try to Google or search Diba? Kung pa talaga sila. Diba? Kasi atin Pilipin- sa Pilipinas, uso tayo pa, bebe. Tayo lang naman ang pa, bebe. <laughs> well, there are other national na pa, bebe pa rin. But I'm talking about us Filipinos. Para, diba? Hindi na tayo ma-hurt. Alam mo yun? Well, anyways, hope you learn something new or something that can help you in the future if you're the person who's talking to other guys or using dating app to find true love or to date somebody since it's COVID, guys. So you just lie on dating apps or social media to meet your true love. Might as well stay away from being being catch because I want to see another story of a girl that has been catfished and paid a thousand of pesos or a thousand of dollars because this person that he's he or she is chatting is asked ask them you know you know what i mean i hate seeing those sad stories because basically it's not the scammer's fault it's your fault because you got a book because you know well i can't blame you if you're vulnerable but you got hooked so stop stop making fool of yourself okay it's your fault not their fault okay it's like they're used to being con artists. It's like facing a con artist. Okay. You got by them. Anyways, thank you for watching. And thank you for listening to me. And hope you learn something. And hope you're not going to be catfish next time that you chat or talk to other person or 
hope you're not you're not gonna be you're not gonna make fool out of yourself. Or, I don't know if did I say it right, but I hope you're not gonna get fooled by somebody who wanted to get your money or get something out from your pocket. Okay, so stay vigilant. Don't get catfish. Don't get scammed by other people. Okay, so thank you. Bye. See you on my next live stream or see you on my next vlog. So don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Margaret. You can go ahead and check on my YouTube account, Margaret Debashi, or go ahead and check on my IG account, which is Marga Debashi. See you and have a great day. Bye-bye.